You are a shark attack survivor. Yeah. Bill Litton barely escaped with his life while swimming a few yards offshore. You know, I'd gone 20 minutes, and that's when my leg was seized. Did you see it? Oh, very clearly. I felt like I was in a wrestling match because this animal was trying to flip me as I turned my head around to see a big head on my leg that belongs to the shark. And this was my advantage, as it turns out. His advantage because of something he'd seen on TV. You know, Nature Documentary 101, I knew dolphins always hit the gill. That's the place you go to attack the shark. So what did you do? Well, that's a defensive wound. I punched it. Wow. On the gill. Luckily, there were people within yelling distance. I yelled help, and they heard me, and they dragged me in, and then things really took off. They're like, all right, he's breathing, he's conscious. Let's stop this bleeding. Two nursing grads were among the beachgoers. We're like, let's get him in this towel. A bunch of people were around. We all ca started carrying him down. Lidton was airlifted to a medical center where he was put into a two day coma and underwent half a dozen surgeries. First walk of the day? He was discharged from the hospital. Good job. Perfect. And sent to rehab about 10 days after the attack. Will you be swimming in the ocean again? Yes. I would. Probably very hesitant when I would go to that very same beach. It freaked me out a little to go to the same place, even though lightning never strikes twice, right? Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York. Well, Bill's wife, June, says she's grateful to everyone who helped with his recovery. She's especially thankful for a police officer who drove her two hours up to Boston after her husband was airlifted to a hospital there.